Hello everybody, Twinkle Phoenix here, bringing you more Friday Night at Treasure Island Discovery. Today we're going to be taking a look at some more characters, plus I'm also going to be giving proof as well for one thing. Um, one of the comments that was given yesterday, um, she was Oswald. Um, so yeah, here it is. Please do enjoy the episode. Okay. The first thing I want to get sorted today, of course, guys, um, some of you are in the comments that they believe that Oswald here is a photo negative. He is not photo negative version. I checked, because it was the first thing I thought. I thought maybe because Mickey Mouse is a photo negative version, maybe Oswald is. But I went and I checked. So this is a normal Mickey Mouse with Oswald. This picture is actually from Epic Mickey, and this is where you can see the photo negative version of Mickey Mouse, where he's got the grey gloves, the blue shoes, the blue pants, the bluish face, and this is what Oswald would look like if he was in reverse, like Mickey. He would be white with blue on his face too, because his colours are the same as Mickey. So most likely this version here is where they've dipped him in one colour and they were planning on waiting for the colour to dry and they're going to plan to paint over him. But they never got around to finishing it. And that's why um, Oswald is this colour instead of being photo reverse colours. But I just wanted to clear the fact up that he's not the photo negative version of Mickey Mouse at all. Because if he was, he'd be similar in colouring and his pants would be red, not blue. I need to have the so he actually doesn't have shoes. I thought he did have shoes. I'm guessing he never had shoes. I'm completely wrong. Doesn't matter. I was close. Sort of. Okay, no, I was off by a mile. But still. <laughs> but yes, this is a photo negative version. But I'm guessing Oswald was just dipped in one colour and as the girl said, they never finished him and they never put his arms on. Now, we're going to take a look at a couple of other characters in this episode, including Don, not Donald, yeah, Donald, Goofy, and Pluto. Hopefully I can cover all three in this episode. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at Pluto. Now time for another character, none other than Pluto. Now, Pluto, I personally have no clue what he's supposed to do. He hangs around in your office for like ages. And just sits there. Though at times he will disappear. He doesn't make a sound, though I did hear a funny laugh, and I assume he was coming from Pluto. But for those of you not used to Pluto, this of course is all the scenes in which Pluto appeared on my cameras. And of course with all the sound. And he hangs about for ages, and I mean absolutely ages. And he doesn't go away. At points he does. But he's really hard to see. He stands in the corner of your office. And what I have noticed with Pluto is Pluto will appear besides Magic Mickey sometimes, if Donald's on the desk, Oswald. He's not discouraged by any other character. Pluto will appear and he'll hang about for a while. But that's really all he does. He doesn't harm you. And I don't know if he's supposed to attract anything to you. Of course, he just stands there in the corner. But let's take a look at Pluto closely. You probably couldn't see him very well. Here is Pluto, of course. Pluto is right here in the corner. This is a screenshot all from one of my previous videos. So as you can see, here is Pluto. And I brightened up the area so you can see him. And he's just over here. And again, the carpet has changed color. It's no longer red. So those that are not used to Pluto, this is Pluto. Pluto is, of course, Mickey's dog. Um, Pluto is seen in several Disney games alongside Mickey. He's very loyal. You can tell he's not in reverse colours at all. His mouth is open. We just can't see him very well. I have heard like a funny chuckle sound, but I don't know if it is Pluto making the sound. Now, Pluto and Goofy got similar faces, but obviously this one's a pet dog. And he really just stands in the corner and doesn't do anything, doesn't harm you. I don't know if he's attracting anything to you. At this point, I can only speculate what Pluto does. Because the girl on the phone and the guy never once mentioned Pluto. They never said Pluto was going to turn up. Then again, they never said about Donald's hide being on the desk either. So I guess it's only in time we're going to actually find out what the purpose of these guys is. 
But again, that is, let's see, Creepy Mickey, Bone Naked Mickey, aka Magic Mickey. Um, we've also got Oswald. We got the Weird Donald Head that seems to be static. We got the open and closing Eyes of Goofy. We got Pluto. There's a couple of them already. And there's still more. Again, this is an earlier demo. Um, it was a lot of bugs in this one. So I don't know if Pluto was supposed to do more than that. As I said. But I will keep you guys updated if there is more for, for Pluto to do. Now we're going to take a look at Donald. Not Donald, sorry, Goofy. But I do want to try and keep these episodes like as short as possible. So we might do that in the next episode. As I said, there isn't much I can go over, but I will also tell you which rooms are which and where you're most likely going to see each of the various different characters and other details I find for you guys. Again, there is no death scene for Pluto. He just stands there and is minding his own business. He doesn't seem to harm you. He just stands there. And he goes, but if you notice, he hanged about for a very long time. He appeared at 1 a.m. He he kept staying there till 2 a.m. These are all, this is all from one night with Pluto in my office. He disappears at 2. And then he comes back at 4. And then he hangs about, it seems he hangs about for about an hour, two hours at the most, before he vanishes again. But I have had Pluto in the office when I got attacked. So I'm guessing he's not discouraged by any of the characters. I don't know if he's dragging any of the characters to me. I know the clicking on the cameras doesn't make him go away. He just seems to stand there, watching. But he is technically Mickey's dog. I don't know if that's something to keep in mind, just in case it means that he's, the other Mickey's going to turn up because his pet dog is here. I don't know but maybe he's just an easter egg surprise but he was there in the newest demo from night one to three so yeah that's something else to keep in mind about Pluto but you really don't need to worry about Pluto at the moment he doesn't seem to cause any problems with you the only ones you need to watch out for is of course Magic Mickey and um, Oswald the creepy Mickey at times as well <laughs> Donald on the goddamn desk being static as hell would probably deafen you. But Pluto, Pluto's just a very nice character to have in the in the office. I personally like having Pluto in there. He's, you know, it's like having like a little companion or a very creepy knight. And that's him. I said, this is a screenshot from one of my earlier episodes. So you guys stay tuned. More episodes coming up after this. We're going to be going into look at Donald and Goofy. Plus, we're going to have another look at Magic Mickey. And we're going to then have a look at the scenery. Ooh. Especially in Pirates Car. And there's a couple of things in there I want to address. Because there's actually a, bit, a few Easter eggs. Because some stuff in there actually appears in other things we've already seen. So, yeah. Plus, we're going to check on the audio of this. If you notice, during all these scenes, Mickey... Um, sorry. The other Mickey is currently talking. And he does have a whole entire conversation when you listen to him. So, yeah, guys, we're going to take a look at what Mickey says in everything because I have got a whole entire episode where I've just taken all the scenes from Magic Mickey. Not Magic Mickey. What am I talking about? Magic Mickey doesn't speak. He only says, can I take my head off? And he goddamn does. Um, the creepy Mickey, which, yes, I do know is most likely is the original Mickey, but I honestly feel very pity on the real Mickey because we can't see very well. This the brightness on this has been turned up all the way and even then we can't see what Pluto is like. We can tell he's got all four of his legs. We can see his face. But we don't know if he's got his eyes. And we don't know what else he's like. Because if you've seen like the real Mickey, the creepy Mickey that hangs about, he looks in a terrible state. So what does Goofy, um, sorry, not Goofy. Pluto look like. I just call him Goofy because he's got the similar face as Goofy. They share the same face. Well, and guys, yeah, Twin Face will be back shortly with more for you. Bye bye, and thank you for subscribing.